caged system is such an incredible tool for understanding chords, chord shapes, arpeggios, and scales, but it's also a system that will help you map out the fretboard in five unique sections. It's a topic that brings up a lot of questions, so let's just break it down step by step. What is caged? Each letter in caged represents a chord shape. There are five letters, C, A, G, E, and D, which means that there are five shapes we can play across the neck. Now we can start with open shapes, which are the most simple. If you've been playing the guitar even for just a month, the chances are that you already know those shapes. The C shape. The A shape. The G shape. The E shape. And D shape. Now, notice that I'm saying shapes and not chords. And one thing that is essential to understand if you want to really truly understand the caged system is the fact that these five shapes are not unique to the chords themselves. Meaning the C shape doesn't just work for the C major chord, in fact, we can use the C shape to play any major chord we want. So, we can start with the open shape. But if I refinger this chord, like this, so with 4, 3, and 2, and I bring this shape one fret up, and I use the index finger as a cable, so I also bring the open strings one fret up, then I can play a C sharp major chord in C shape. So the shape is the same. This is C major in C shape. This is C sharp major in C shape. This is D major in C shape. D sharp, E, F, and so on. So it's important to visualize where the root note of each shape is found. In this case, for the C shape is on the fifth string and second string, third, and first finger. Now you can do the same thing for the other shapes. For example, the A shape. Now this is an A major chord played in A shape. I can bring this chord one fret up, use the index finger to mimic the capo. And now we have a B flat major played in A shape. B major in A shape, C major in A shape, C sharp major, D major in A shape. It's all the same thing. G shape. Now this is a G major chord in G shape. I can bring this one, one fret up, use the index finger to, that's a tough one, to bar the first fret. Now this is a G sharp major chord played in G shape. A major in G shape. B flat, B, C major in G shape. I mean, this is awesome because you can actually see the shape. You can literally see the G major shape. E major. Now this is E shape. You can bring this one one fret up. Let's just refing it. And F major chord played in E shape. F sharp, G, G major chord played in E shape. And of course, D major as well. We can bring the D major chord one fret up and use the index finger to add the root note. Now this is D sharp major in D shape. E major in D shape. F major in D shape. Now let's practice each chord shape with the backing truck. The C shape, we're gonna play a C major, G major, D major, A major, C major, G major, and D major. And if you want, you don't have to use a bar chord. You can actually um, mute the first string and just play five, four, three, and two, so you don't play the first string.
Let me play the example. Now, same exercise, A shape. We have the A major chord, E major, B major, F sharp major, A major, E major, and B major. And one thing, guys, you can simplify this chord. You don't have to put a bar chord down. You can actually mute the first string. And if you have flexible fingers, you can actually bar the um, three notes on the fourth, third, and second string. So. Let me play the example. Challenging. Same chord progression, just in a different key. G major, D major, A major, E major, G, D, and A. Now you can simplify this um, shape if you want. You don't have to play the whole thing here. You can actually either just play without the first string. Or if you want, you can literally just play the sixth string and then fourth, third, and second. So. shape. This is the coolest one, probably the most simple. Now, same chord progression in a different key. E major, B major, F sharp major, C sharp major, E major, B major, and F sharp major. I really recommend that you play the E um, major chord with finger three, two, sorry, three, four, and two, so that you keep the index finger free to bar all these chords. Let's check it out. Now last but not least, the D shape. Now this one is kind of annoying because we can only strum or pick the top four strings. Same chord progression, just played in a different key. D major. And A major. E major. Simplify this chord, just play the triad on the top three strings.
another interesting concept. If those shapes are not unique to the chords themselves, we can play, for example, a C major chord using the five caged shapes. So C major in C shape. But I can also play C major in A shape and C major in G shape, C major in E shape, and C major in D shape. And from here, I can go back to C shape again. Which is so cool when you think about it because C shape connects to A shape. A shape connects to G shape. And G shape connects to E shape. And E shape connects to D shape. And then we start again. D shape connects to C shape. So each shape shares a root note with the next one. This is a C major played in C shape. The root note C on the fifth string, fret number three, is the same as the root note played in A shape. Now from A shape, the root note on the third string, fret number five, is the same that we play in G shape, it's right here. Now between G shape and E shape, we share the same root note on the sixth string, fret number eight. And between E shape and D shape, they share the same root note on the fourth string, fret number 10. And between D shape, and C shape, there is this root note in common on the second string, fret number 13. C, A, G, E, D. So let's use a backing track to play the C major chord with the five shapes. Now, of course, guys, we are just scratching the surface here. In fact, we can use the caged system uh, to play minor chords, arpeggios, scales, and solos. But of course, we can't put everything in one video, it's just way too much stuff. So let me know if you want to know more about caged, if we wanna take a look at maybe scales, how to implement scales in the caged system. Let me know if you liked the video in the comment section down below, and thank you so much for watching, guys. Enjoy this video. And I'll see you next time.